There are a lot of creative ways to take care of rusty parts on old cars. Some are very uh, labor intensive. Some are not labor intensive at all. You can take your rusty part and have it blasted either in sand or plastic media or some of the less aggressive types. Or you can hand sand things. You can wire brush them. You can do things in your little blast cabinets. A lot of those things take a lot of time and uh, depending on what your status is you might be having to charge for that time and of course then it makes it very expensive to clean your metal. If you do a little searching around you'll find that there are a lot of remedies that people have tried. You'll hear stories here in Kansas. I hear stories about people that put their frozen engine blocks into a barrel of wheat and water and as that water and wheat mixture fermented the fermentation process uh, clean the rust. I've never particularly experienced that one, but I've heard that. Uh, diesel fuel, I've heard people soaking in diesel fuel and, and things like that. I do know that uh, an engine that was seized over at McPherson College, we filled that crankcase with buttermilk and within a couple of weeks that engine was free from the fermentation of the buttermilk. It dissolved the rust. One of the ones that we became familiar with here recently uh, through the internet is a mixture of molasses and water. Nine parts water to one part molasses. I went to the local farm store, bought some molasses, a gallon of molasses in their uh, feed area and a five gallon bucket and I put half a gallon of molasses in there and uh, filled it up the rest of the way with water and threw some rusty parts in. So I'm going to show you the process and well there is no process just throw your part in a bucket but uh, we'll show you a before and an after so here's a pulley from an engine uh, the whole this is my DeSoto parts car and it's just rusty and you can see it's rusty you can see the depth of the rust and the condition of it and we're going to throw that in the molasses and see what happens Here's a couple parts that have been soaking for a few weeks. These are OEM style muffler clamps for the Mopars. And these, these were very rusty, uh, thick, heavy rust. You can see from the process that the metal's clean now. But also, of course, when you have corrosion, it's going to result in the lost metal. There's no magic to putting that metal back once it's lost the corrosion. But the details of the hardware are there. I haven't tried to turn these, but I bet you they would break uh, free pretty easy. This is the one that impressed me a lot. This is uh, a heat riser for the exhaust manifold on the DeSoto, and it was very rusty and it was frozen. It was uh, not flipping. So this has been soaking in the molasses and water solution for probably about three weeks. But except for my own curiosity, I don't have any labor in it at all. I took it out a couple times to check on it and see what was going on. And uh, the last time I took it out, I went ahead and I tapped on the flapper. No heavy beating, no heat, no nothing. And as you can see now, it's free. And uh, the spring works and, and everything. So uh, I'm pretty impressed. It does get stuck there on the end, but also the flap is bent, so I need to do straight, some straightening on that. But that is labor-free, practically, restoration of that part. So once I uh, straighten the butterfly inside there, I'll have a practically uh, free restoration of the heat riser. And uh, I like that. That's cool. So here's my five gallon bucket of molasses and water and you can see it's got an impressive bit of mold there on top. Uh, not stinky at all really. So it's uh, much more pleasant than putting it in a bucket of carbon cleaner or anything like that. Uh, but here's my pulley on a wire. We're just going to set that down in there. We'll slosh it around a little bit. Get all the good stuff going. And now we're going to put that lid back on and we're going to forget about it for a few weeks and come back and see what happens.
Well, for anybody that's anxiously awaiting our sequel to the video about cleaning rust with molasses, you might remember that it's been more than three weeks by now. We got quite busy finishing a car for a car show, and uh, we're happy to report success in that endeavor. But it's time to get that pulley out of the molasses and see what we came up with. Careful observers will notice that our container changed. We threw a clutch pack uh, pressure plate in the molasses mixture and the clutch wore a hole in the bucket and our bucket all dumped out so we needed to find something a little bigger. So we've upgraded to a bigger container. So there it is. We're getting into warm weather so our foam is getting a little more aggressive and, and uh, a little thicker. So Got a good little foam head going on on top of that. And there's our pulley. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, we'll clean it up with some hot water and a scotch break. You can see the just the light scum that's on it coming out of that molasses. Maybe if I held it up here, you could see that light scum that's on it from being in the molasses. We'll get this wire out of here. Don't need that anymore. Got some hot water going here. So this is about the first labor that I've actually put to this pulley. It's been sitting in that molasses mixture, waiting for some attention. So there it is, cleaned up of all the molasses slime. A little bit right there yet. And you can see the clean metal. All the rust is gone. You notice this parting line right here. That happens to be where the level of the molasses had drained out to when we discovered that uh, we, were, we had a leak. So for a little while, part of the pulley was in the molasses and part of it wasn't. So uh, they rust pretty quick if you don't get them cleaned up. Now what we'll do to this is spray it with a little bit of uh, metal prep, which is a phosphoric acid uh, prep that will put a little etch to the metal and it will leave a little phosphoric coating on it so that uh, it doesn't rust. But I scrubbed on that for about a minute. And other than that, that's all the time I've got into cleaning up the rust on this pulley. So pretty cool. Has an application for some parts. And uh, pretty cheap cleanup.